that is glorious. Welcome to day seven of 10 days of Pat McGrath. If you are new here, this is a series that I'm running on my channel right now where I do a look every single day with a Mothership palette. So starting at Mothership 1, going to Mothership 9, and we're adding in little Celestial Odyssey at the end for a little spice, shall we say. Anyway, we're gonna get started on today's video. Today is number seven. So it is Divine Rose 1, this beautiful palette right here. I know this is definitely like a fan fave, Divine Rose 1. A lot of you love Divine Rose 1. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and get stuck into this video. Before we do, you know the drill, let's go ahead and do the youtube -y things. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and let's get into it. So I have half done my brows and I've primed with the Makeup by Mario Eye Primer. So we're going to create the look together. Now let's go ahead and dip into the taupe shade in Subliminal first because the mattes in Divine Rose 1 are just a little bit too kind of dark for me on the, like for a transition shade. So if you don't have Subliminal, just just use your bronzer or trans whatever transition shade you like, really. Uh, now I'm just taking my Delium Tools fluffy brush and I'm just going to basically just fluff this through the crease, kind of like we always do. It's generally the first step in any makeup look I do, to be honest, is this. It's a nice little base to begin with. Now we are dipping into Divine Rose 1. Don't forget that I am actually giving away a brand new Divine Rose 1 palette to you guys at the end of this little series. So make sure you check the description box on how you can enter. Now, let's go ahead and dip straight into this little eggplanty. Well, it's not really an eggplanty purple, is it? It's more like a very muted cool tone purple. I'm just taking this on my Refa number no. one brush and we're just gonna, um, kind of fluff this through the crease too and kind of just deepen it all up. So I think we're going to do a bit of a like cool tone, purpley, smoky eye today. Something a little bit sultry for you. I've already got um, two looks basically uh, using this shadow right here on my channel. So don't forget I have a Pat McGrath playlist as well. So um, check that out if you want to see more looks. But I've got like, I'm pretty sure I've got looks using like all of these on my channel. But definitely this one. This is like my favorite shadow to use in this palette. I use this quite a lot, but because I've already done like quite a few looks with that, I wanted to kind of like mix it up a little bit and show some kind of different inspo because that's like the whole point of these videos is just to kind of keep inspiring you guys to like pick your palettes up and use them and that kind of a thing. So yeah, like I said, hope you find them interesting. Picking up my Refa 14, I'm going to go into this brown right here. I'm just going to go into a very, very small amount of it and just kind of, again, deepen up the crease. Just tap it a little bit lightly here. I'm just going to keep it concentrated to this outer corner here. Pretty much just like that, really. Just like that. Some of you may remember from like a previous video that I was saying that at this time of year, me and my fiance like watch Harry Potter from movie one to end. It's like a tradition every year. That's what we do. What we do, sorry. Uh, this weekend is like the final one. I'm so sad. We kind of normally make it stretch about seven weeks, but we got a bit like gung ho the other weekend about them and just kind of smashed through like three because we were like really into them. So now we're already up to number seven, part two, and I'm just a little bit sad about it because it's over for another year. You know what I mean? I mean, you can watch them at any time, but I don't like to ruin the magic of them too much, you know? Now we're going to pick up my Pat McGrath little sticky stick here. Pop this over the lids. I know I do a lot of the same eye shape look, you guys, and I'm sorry, I really do hope that this hasn't been boring. But if you have hooded eyes, this is just such a go-to shape for you that just like looks really good, I find anyway. It's more like, I'm trying to give you guys the inspo with like the different color combos and like all that kind of stuff. So hopefully that's working, you know? We'll go into this one. This one's really pretty. So this is my refer number two brush. And we're just gonna pick this purple shade up and then I'm just gonna tap this all over the lid, I think. Such a pretty shade. It's like one of those ones that I feel like you would just like 
almost it would be really underrated in a palette you'd almost kind of just like look past it but it's just stunning on the eyes and it like it doesn't look good now because none of my makeup's put together but like when it's all put together it comes out like a really soft sultry kind of look and it just it can make you look so glam and you really haven't done much to your lids you know what i mean because really like all i've done is put down a couple of matte shades and then this and it just can look quite quite pretty in my opinion. Let's go ahead and do the other side. I think what I'll do is I'll leave it there for now because I will want to probably do some more to it but I just want to see what the rest of my base makeup is going to look like first and then we'll kind of have a little play around. So I'm going to go do the rest of my base makeup and then I will be back and we'll finish off the eyes. So I thought I was recording. Alas, I was not, but she did not miss much. So all I did was I took a little shader brush and I took this little purple color right here and I just ran it really close to the lower lash line, just connecting it to the outer corner here. So on both eyes, so that's, that's all you've missed so far. Now I'm just taking this teeny tiny little pencil brush as well. And we're going to go into the dark brown and I'm just going to run that really close here too. And I'm going to just kind of smudge some of this inward here a little bit as well. See how that deepened the outer corner just a little bit more? Well, I can see it, hopefully you can <laughs> as well. Um, what else do I wanna do with this look? I wanna do an inner corner. So I'm going to go into this shade for the inner corner actually. This is just my Luna Beauty number no. six brush and we're just going to do this with the inner corner. I might just pick up this brush and go into this little glittery shade, which is, I'm pretty sure it's called Astral Solstice. <laughs> Could be wrong. I'm just gonna tap this over here. Now, if this was like an everyday look, I wouldn't do this step. Like if I was gonna wear this to work, which honestly I would wear this look to work, uh, I wouldn't do this step and I also probably wouldn't do the inner corner. It would just make it a little bit more subtle. Um, but if I was going to dinner, I would add this little bit of glitter in the inner corner to make it a bit more sassy, you know? Can you guys see that? I don't know about you, but I personally am of the personal opinion that that is glorious. I'm just gonna take my NARS mascara and then uh, we're gonna come back and do lips. For lips, I'm gonna take the, I don't know why it looks so weird like this, but it's turned out this way. So anyway, I find ColourPop, oh, because it's pushed out. There you go. I don't know, the, the ColourPop lip pens, like lip liners are good quality for like the product itself, but like, the actual packaging is quite shitty, to be honest, you guys. Anyway, uh, we're going to line our lips. This is O Snap. And then I'm just going to color my lips in as well. Now we're going in with Fenty Beauty Mauve Wives. This is my favorite uh, gloss bomb, fun fact. I just love this lip color on me. This is like my original favorite lip combo, by the way, if you're wondering. Let's zoomy zoom you out and we'll wrap this up, shall we? And this is the finished makeup look for day seven. What do we think? A kind of glittery, slightly glittery, purple, smoky eye. I really quite like it. I've said this so many times on this channel when I talk about wearing these tones that I personally find these tones really flattering for my skin type and my eye color and all that. So it's definitely like, like I said, if I was going to wear this to like work or just during the day, I'd probably take like the glitter in the inner corner off and then like for night time to jazz it on up, I'd put the inner corner and the glitter on, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, let me know your thoughts on the look. Let me know your thoughts so far on the series. What's been your favorite look if you can remember them so far? Don't forget I'm giving away a brand new Divine Rose one to one of you guys. So link in the, or like information in the description on how you can enter that giveaway. And that's the end of the video. If you are watching till this point, thank you so much. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell. I hope you have an incredible day wherever you are in the world and I will see you next time. Bye.